Alrighty, welcome, welcome to the Joe Wentz Project TV YouTube channel. And if you're in the live chat, thank you so much for being in the live chat. If you're watching on the replay, thank you very much. Man, look what we have today, this Epiphone Flying V. And you can see somebody took a uh, Gibson truss rod cover and put it over there and tried to make it pass for a Gibson. But this is an Epiphone. I'm not sure of the year. Um... I don't see a serial number on here. It's made in Korea, and there's a sticker on the back. I don't. I wouldn't pass that as a serial number, though. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. This guitar is uh, the only flying flying V I have. <laughs> And it's a great guitar. I love it. Uh, what's the story with this guitar? Let's see. <laughs> There's a music store where there used to be a music store in town here where I live, and it was called Main Street Guitar and Drum is what the name of it was. It was there for a long time. I always kind of thought the place was kind of fishy, to tell you the truth. I, don't mean, I mean, I don't know. But when you went in there, they rarely had any new instruments. If they had new instruments, and this place was a real small mom and pop place uh but i heard a lot of rumors about the place that it was a front for um, drug activity you know so i went in there a couple of times and uh excuse me and like i said if you saw any new equipment it was like this off-brand stuff you know they like had a few sets of drums over here that were new and and it, you know, look. Sometimes it looked kind of dusty. I was like, "Man, y'all need to clean with a rag and dust this off." You know, but it was like I can't remember the name of the drum. I was like, "What is that?" You know, the full set, but the the brand name. I just said, "I've never heard of that in my life." <laughs> so you'd walk around and you'd see guitars on the wall, and you could tell a lot of them were used. And again, they had a few that were new, but it was you know, uh, if they did, uh, they were really I mean, they were pretty high. This flying V was in the window of their uh, store, their little uh, sidewalk window. So when you um, people walked by, they'd see it. They had this and another guitar, and it was right close to Christmas. They had this on a stand, and I said, man, I'd love to have that flying V. Um, never owned one. Um, and so uh, I was telling my wife about it, and I said, man, have you seen that flying V in the window down there at Main Street Guitar and Drum? She's like, nah, you know, she doesn't pay attention to that stuff. And uh, I planned on going back, uh, I think it was the, the next day or a couple of days later when I got paid, I was going to put it on layaway. And uh, I was like, man, I got to get that V. It was, uh, I still have the, the tag. They had a hang tag on here with the price written with an ink pen. And uh, I still got it in the case. It said $350 with case. And I said, man, that's awesome, you know, for a, a used Epiphone V. I remember Hen uh, Hendrix playing a Gibson V quite a bit toward the latter part of his career and I was like man I'd love to have a V um so uh I went back a day or two later and it was gone it wasn't in the window anymore I was like oh man somebody bought that thing so I didn't even go in and ask I didn't ask I didn't say nothing I said well that's just the way it goes man you know and I came home and told my wife I said man that damn guitar is gone somebody snagged it up I said that's my luck you know and really that usually how my <laughs> my luck goes so um uh, when it got close to Christmas, uh, she got this out of uh, the back of her car and she gave it to me. I didn't know, I had no clue that she had put uh, put it on layaway. So my wife, man, is uh, very uh, lenient with me. She's, you know, she's, uh, I can't say nothing, man. She's uh, really cool about with my music stuff and my guitar, and she's actually bought me a few, you know, quite a few over the years, man. But it gets to a point where <laughs> she's like, okay, come on now. How many guitars do you need? Well, uh, what does that saying go? What is it? One is too much and a hundred is not enough? Something, <laughs> something I heard that recently. Uh, but, yeah, this guitar, it plays great. It's it. It is kind of odd the way you have to set it to play. That's what's taken me the longest time, and it's real neck heavy. You know, I've, I've uh, played it. Uh, I never played it live, but I did play it at a bunch of rehearsals in one of the bands I was in, and I, you know, put the strap on, and, it, and if you let go of it, it just goes, you know, it just, it's strange. Uh, but 
it played great. You know, I'd said, I don't know if I want to do that in rehearsal or not. It's kind of, you know, it makes a pretty bold statement. It's on the brink of being, I mean, it's almost in between a red and a pink. Maybe it's a fuchsia, you know, I have to ask Jim Gidry to check it out. But the, the back of it has got the, it's all one piece you can see, you know, uh, so it's fun to play. Uh, it's just, it can be awkward a little bit sometimes. I'm not used to playing a guitar like this, but I, I wanted to have a flying V. I mean, I said, I gotta have a V. So, yeah. <laughs> Everything is stock on it except the uh, tremolo. The uh, the tremolo system that was on here was, uh, I don't know what it was supposed to be, but it, it broke. And uh, somebody sent me this tremolo system. It's an EVH, but uh, I don't use the bar or nothing like that with it. It just, it really, it just barely fit, to tell you the truth. It barely fit, but, you know, it does work. <laughs> Uh, so it does have the locking, uh, locking, uh, screws up here, which I don't, yeah, I don't use, but I just, you know, they're, they're loose. I keep them where they don't fall out, but I don't tighten them down. And it's cool that I got these cause, uh, you can use them for spares on your, you know, on your locking nut up there in case it starts to strip out on the inside, which sometimes that can happen. Uh, I noticed that with my Wolfgang special the other day, I went to tighten it down and, uh, how your Allen wrench will sometimes start getting smooth it's like man you know because you're not supposed to put a lot of pressure i know but sometimes it, these little wrenches are cheap you know and uh, the metal's not that great so, um i remember when i did put this this tremolo unit on i put new strings on it and i haven't played it since i man uh it's been a long time since I played it. It's been in the case for quite some time. So we're going to use the trusty Snark tuner here. Get her tuned. Oh, yeah, there we go. I knew something was going to... That's when you know you've been playing a long time, when you can just do a like a G chord or something or an E chord. And you can tell when it, you know, you can tell right away. That sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> So there we go, the Epiphone Flying V that my wife was so kind to get for me in uh, Christmas of 2006. And uh, the receipt is still in the case, too. As I looked, I said, man, when when did I get this? And there it was, 2006. I said, man, it's <laughs> 13 years ago. That is crazy. It doesn't seem seem that long. But, yeah, it was right before we got married because we got married in 2007. So, man, that was great. She's got me this, um, the uh, Nuno Betancourt low-budget series that I did a video already on. If you haven't seen that, go back and look at that a few videos back. She got me that. She got me a really nice slim body Dean acoustic. Um, got a uh, another acoustic over here that she got me. Uh, so yeah, there's a few man that she was kind enough to get. So it's awesome, man. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, showcase on this guitar. Uh, stand by for station identification, and then we're going to play a song with this guitar. So you can check it out and. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being here. And uh, if you're new, please subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, ring that notification bell. All that, you know, all that jargon that people say. <laughs> so you can, you can be sure to uh, come back when I do another video. <laughs> We'll 
We'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.